me. You guys should pray for me. Sometimes I just want to cry. But I know crying will not help this situation. It'd be hot cake. But now, I am not even warm cake. Talk more of being hot cake. I don't even know if I am just an ice cake. Hello, my wonderful people. You're welcome back once again to my youtube channel if you see my beautiful face for the first time my name is tina isoa i'm a content creator based in saskatoon saskatchewan canada okay long time no see <laughs> so subscribe to this channel like if it's, this is your first time and you are not subscribed or you have been watching you are not subscribed please subscribe okay <laughs> You're welcome to my family. You're welcome to my little space here that I abandoned for some time due to a lot of reasons. Like my hands are so tight, but all the same, I just want to recap. Uh, this is my 19 months in Canada. How has life been? Um, I will simply, in one word, say it's been a roller coaster, but I'm hopeful. I'm believing that I will surely get there. I don't know. I wish I could explain uh, my situation to someone who is here to arrive. I wish I could bring you and say, come, 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 come. This is the truth, the core truth about living here uh, with children. Uh, I don't know if I can get clips. At a point, I was so sick that uh, mentally I was down. A lot of things happened to me that... I was seeking for therapy help. I was seeking for a therapy assistant. Like my doctor recommended I go for a therapy session and I was or sessions. And I was like, do I really need it? I don't think I need it. But we now went with drugs. Now I am super okay health wise. I I resigned. I know a couple of people will be like, you don't have a job, you resigned. Of course, I made it point clear that i request hey i can no longer deal with this because of these factors which i stated to my company uh can you reduce my work time to a part time and they refused uh, i requested for leave of absence to get my sanity back like in the previous video i i did say for my sanity <laughs> and family i was like i explained everything i need a break please can i get this break i'm burning out and they declined it as well i was left with no option but to resign am i happy that i resign the situation i find myself now health wise family and all what the decisions i've taken since uh, august that i resigned i feel happy like happy but am i unhappy yes i am unhappy because no revenue no money is coming into my account like you know the bi-weekly salary every two weeks you receive salary i am no longer receiving we are solely dependent on my husband's salary paying the bills the bills you know house rent and all whatnot am i hopeful yes i am hopeful i just came out from a place now i'm in one of the places i came to got my car i collect my card so I went to volunteer. I requested, I filled a form to volunteer in a place because I feel like if I stay in the house, of course I can. One niche can I, I some some people were advising me, go ahead with your um, financial advisor and, um, and your content creation. Yes, but I don't think my financial advisor is something I should be doing full time at the moment because when you talk to people, you need time to convince them you need them to understand the importance of life insurance or any kind of investment you're trying to sell to them and it's not like an everyday income okay it's not like an every month income rather self, or even weekly income so i need something that will be coming in then youtube and social media yes i've been quite active on facebook my Facebook page, Tina is our family. 
but my youtube have not been active and i keep asking myself tina i think i should decide exactly what i want i can't come here always bringing lifestyle i i go shop what if i don't go shop <laughs> what if i didn't go out to shop then what happens yeah some people and I, I appreciate you all even the few content i've shared recently some people like hey we missed your family i missed your children i missed your son i missed your you know i feel like oh really so this content is actually making people smile but when i look back i just tell myself i need to be bringing in value for the screen time people are devoting or dedicating to my channel now i keep asking myself i've been talking about um uh, insurance what else would you people want me to be doing to be bringing on here let me know i went to a place now to volunteer so that i can be going out of the house i'm grateful my husband got another job and not just another job he is currently working from home so I feel that it has reduced a lot of burden for us. Like prior to now, he will wake up in the morning as early as 5 a.m. Do what he can do. I'm a very late bed timer or sleeper. Or what's it called? I go to bed very late and he goes early and I woke up very late. You know, that kind of scenario so he wakes up early to prepare some things be to the kids i'll wake up make food then i'll go and drop him in the office and come back feed my children take the girls to uh, their school that's on the days they are going to school i did mention here that they are no longer going to daycare so they go to school now kindergarten which is two days in a week and alternate friday so all this put together before i could finish it my then take my son to the bus stop he goes to school and all whatnot time is already gone and i'll come and lie down in the house thinking about myself what should i do what should i not do apply to jobs yes are you have i been applying to jobs of course i have been applying to job but i wish canada government could give me the opportunity to say this oh my goodness i worked in the healthcare for over 15 years of my life i know the things i have on my fingertips i know the experiences i have i know what i have done as a program manager project manager i've handled projects in the healthcare system more than 50 is just a little number. I have led teams of projects, immunization campaigns, other campaigns in the healthcare system. Oh, oh my God. And you come here, it's as if you don't have any experience. As a licensed public health inspector in my home country, you come here, you are being told to go back to school. How can I go back to school when we need to pay the bills? My children are small. My husband is working. Uh, how? How? I went for, uh, what's it called? Job fair. I presented myself. Of course, I, I sold myself. I have master's in public health. I have this experience in the healthcare and different um designation and i was like um, it's good but um, i think you should go back to school then i asked myself of course i've made series of mistakes i've enrolled in some courses i left again i rolled in i left sometimes now i ask myself i wish i did those program maybe it would have helped me to get my foot at the door because everybody keeps saying just look for a course and do and get your foot at the door then you can progress to what you want you go to social media people are telling you don't do any course you don't have to come on here and be doing diploma program just for you to get your foot at the door you don't know who to believe you don't know what to believe canada please you people should help us if you're bringing up people here that they are qualified they have skill they are skilled immigrants 
please assist us. Let this society, let them make it easier for us to get a job. We have the experiences, we have the knowledge to impart, but some of us are lying wasting and someone like me now is thinking of what business am I going to be doing? Selling crayfish or selling, you know, all those kind of things because we just want to pay the bills. Aside paying the bills, we need our sanity and our life. I don't know where I'm going to. I've been applying to jobs. Uh, of course, I had one interview which I didn't get to hear from them whether I'm qualified or not qualified. I didn't hear from them. So, have I been applying? Yes, I've been applying to jobs. I'm desperate to get a job. And um, yes, that's why I say, let me go and volunteer so that I'll be going out of the house. Let me contribute to the society. Am I appreciative? Of course, when I look back and say, okay, you're not working, but you're getting this uh, one dollar to two dollars in your account every month, I'm grateful. But is it enough? It's not enough. It's not enough, okay? I don't know. Life has not been rosy. Um, I know people who have been crying, asking themselves if they actually took the right decision coming to Canada. I know people who really want to go back to their home countries, not just Nigerians, okay? Um, I, have, I, I have the opportunity to chat with people like, hi, where are you from, you know? You guys know Tina if you know me. <laughs> and I know that most people want to go. People are getting depressed. People are not. It's like what you ordered versus what you got in Canada. Okay? I am grateful, but I want to I want to be busy. I want to contribute to this society. I want to be proud to say, hey, I found myself back in that job I was doing that job that i love doing people will tell you go and do this program go and do this course go and do this course and at the end what when you do some of them you'll be asking yourself what can i speak to i feel that if you wake me up any day anytime tell me to talk about my programs the things that i did the things that i know of in the healthcare system is better for me you guys should pray for me sometimes i just want to cry but i know crying will not help this situation It will not help the situation. The only thing that can help me at this moment, I know I have complex issues. The only thing that can help me is to get a job. I need a job. I have experience. If you're in Canada, please, if you have any ways of recommending, I have a go through my life. I'm a program manager. I was a program manager in Nigeria. I've done lots of projects in the healthcare system. I'm a business analyst. I'm a public health inspector. I was a public health inspector. Oh, can I say I was? I am still. My license is still reading in Nigeria. I can still go renew my license in Nigeria. So I don't know if there is a way. If you can recommend any job, you can refer me to any job based on that I have the experience that I can deliver on the job. Please help me. Sometimes I'm looking at my husband and I feel that I remember being financially independent in Nigeria. I'm no longer financially independent. And I don't like it. Am I hopeful? Yes, I am. I'm not giving up on myself. I'm not giving up on the system. But did I expect that after 19 months, I will be on this stage? No. You know, the perspective I had was, hey, if you come to Canada with your experience, your credentials, and all the certifications you have, it will be a hot cake. But now, I am not even warm cake. Talk more of being hot cake. I don't even know if I am just an ice cake here. And I need help. Sometimes I ask myself, Tina, what do you really want? I'm confused because of, you hear this one today, this one tell you this one tomorrow, this one, you keep running from one place to other. I don't want to be complaining anymore. I need help. You guys should help me. 
pray for me. I know if you cannot recommend any job or refer me to any job, you can pray for me. Pray to God to help Tina to find peace and happiness again. Okay? Thank you so much and I will see you all in my next video. Please subscribe and share this video. If I can be making a video on YouTube now, at least $200, $100, $100. I don't even get up to months. I don't even get up to $50 on YouTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, share and like. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.